Hi guys, this is Mluchi, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. Today, another day, we're gonna look into the pets. Uh, so we read on the wiki that there are merchants, so I kinda wanna look for those merchants first, and then... Well, the wiki also has a whole list of the uh, little pets you can pick up, the little uh, baby animals. So we're gonna see which ones we can find today. But yeah, merchants first. As you can see, uh, it's not that I haven't done anything yesterday, because uh, it was an update day for Dauntless. But yeah, I've crafted one, uh, well, 20 of each, and then, yeah, still have the 69 in here that I basically made for the wolves. But yeah, probably not gonna need so much. So a little bit too much effort. So as we look into the wiki, we actually have two places that the NPCs are at. One place is at the den. There's supposed to be two trolls here, Shana the Strange and Uruk the Master Tamer. And then if we look at it correctly, uh, I think this is supposed to be Flotsam or something. <laughs> the, the Buccaneers Bay actually. And there's supposed to be three merchants over here. Uh, Two are not named, well, not in the wiki at least, and then uh, Koros the Brave. So, yeah, first we're gonna look at the den because that's closest by, and then we're gonna take a walk towards here. I kind of hope the eggs don't weigh too much uh, so we can carry all of them at the same time, else it's gonna be a slow ass walk back home. I do have my, yeah, I'm gonna take a little more. Okay, uh, all the pets, as you can see in my inventory, I got 50 gold. So every egg that you buy basically costs uh, 10 gold. Actually, I should have bought... Well, no, we wanna, we wanna have one each um, first. And then uh, we can see which is their, uh, well, their designated uh, food. Like their, their best type of food. And that way, after we get some more eggs... We can basically check out if we can get the tier 2 and tier 3 of that same creature. So yeah, I'm gonna head out and uh, look for some merchants onto the den. Right, so we found our first one standing here on top. Shauna the Strange. Let's talk. That's, yeah, she has <laughs> nothing else to say. So purchase a rock nose egg for 10 gold coins. Purchase made one rock nose egg, and we have a chest in here as well. Kudo head, some flesh, some hide. Yeah, maybe take the trophy as it doesn't end or somebody at my front door. Second. Yeah, uh, apparently, well, it's 14 October, and that means here in Belgium we have to vote today. Uh, basically, I took home the passport uh, passport of an older lady. Uh, they kind of mixed it up and gave me the wrong one. So they kind of wanted to set it straight and delivered me my passport at home. So next time, the well, not next time. <laughs> it's been a whole long time since the cops pulled me over. But yeah, next time uh, if they pull me over, I'm not an uh, old lady of 60 years old. I'm, I'm definitely myself. So yeah, uh, let's check out the egg that we have. Spoil timer of 24 hours, so that's not really bad, and 2 kilograms, so yeah, we actually, we could have bought, uh, like, at least 3 of these. Uh, now, I do need to check out, uh, again, how we actually hatch them, but that's not for now. Now, we actually need to look for that second NPC, so yeah, go bring you guys back once I found it. It should be somewhere over here. Finally, found him! Uh... So, you want to go to the uh, eastern entrance, uh, uh, the south entrance actually, uh, where, where are we? So the entrance over here between these two, and then you want to crawl on. I thought there was a catway walk up here, but yeah, no, you need to climb and he's basically hiding behind the cliff here. And now that I think about it, you could have easily gone through here. Uh, so, okay. Yurik the Master Tamer. Uh -huh. Camel Calf. So the camels are supposed to be the mounts. But yeah, mounts still have an issue where you drop through Camel Calf. 24 hours. So, whoa. And the Camel Calf. Oh, it's a calf. So it's not an egg. Uh, it's uh, 50 kilograms. So yeah, I'm going to put these two uh, home somewhere safe. 
And then we'll fast travel towards, I think it was the upper staging area. And that way we have a fast walk towards here. We don't actually have to run all the way. So you can put the rock nose egg and the camel calf also in the fridge, <laughs> apparently. And there they, well, yeah, as you can see it, no more timer. Uh, same for the egg. So yeah, if you have like animals or uh, little, little uh, pets that you don't want to actually train up yet, and you don't want the timer to go down. Uh, basically, I thought, okay, let's put it in for a joke, but it actually works. So, yeah, uh, really, really good. Here they're safe, so it doesn't really matter what happens. They'll always be safe without a timer in there. All right, so this is actually pretty easy. Well, not pretty easy. Uh, you want to come up in the middle, the main uh, fortress building uh, construct they have, and then climb up towards the second part. Basically all the three vendors are at the same part, so Sand Reaper Egg for 10 gold coins. We have Chorus the Brave with Shubel, or yeah, Shubel Egg for 10 gold coins. And then we have the Spider Egg Sack for 10 gold coins. So, yeah, Sand Reaper, Spider Egg and Shubel. So, yeah, really nice, uh, really easy to find. <laughs> Easier than the other three. Uh, it took me took me less time to actually find these than, than the other ones. All right, so got all the eggs and the pets at home. Uh, basically, the wiki says, yeah, I'm I'm completely reading off the wiki today, because uh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, that's where the information is. Like, it takes 24 hours to hatch into your inventory, but it also has a 24 was it 24 or 48 hours it takes 48 hours to hatch in your inventory not really sure how if there is a hatch button or something but it takes 48 hours and expires in 24 hours at uh, 20 uh, 42 hours damn it uh, so yeah not really sure how that works the other way to hatch the eggs and that's the faster way is in a compost heap so yeah, place the compost heap with some composts so let's put these eggs in doesn't see expires so the expired time is actually the uh, hatching time it's not expiring kind of wish they would put instead of expire like hatch because expire means that it's gonna break not really sure so yeah, an hour and 10 minutes to actually hatch them in here so that's gonna be a whole long wait. But yeah, we have the time because we still need to look for our other animals. And then basically the camel, I do suspect that the camel, let's put them in here. Greater pets do need plant fiber as they are herbivores, right? So let's put in some plant fiber there, see if we can start them up. Uh, boxes, last one on the right. There we go. So yeah, the eggs we put in here, whoa, lag. Big lag. So the eggs we put in here last time, they're basically, yeah, kind of garbage. Uh, <laughs> well, they're not garbage, they're good for cooking, but uh, yeah, they won't, uh, won't actually hatch. So these are the eggs you actually want to get. So let's put in some plant fiber in here, see if he starts up. Yeah, perfect, so he's starting up. So yeah, we're gonna have a camel uh, ready and then when the eggs are about to hatch, I'll bring you guys. Well, if, if the camel's done before the eggs, will, who knows, right? I'll bring you back once one of the those two is actually uh, complete. <laughs> As for the test of the meats, uh, how far four times actually is, as you can see, I am getting everybody up till this dude here, Ronted Haunch. A roasted haunch but then this one doesn't have any food left so yeah I'm not getting all the way towards my swimming pool so yeah that's basically just to show you a little bit on how far uh, if you put it up to level 4 in your um, settings goes so it's a really really big distance like this this is basically the coverage of an entire entire city uh, but yeah, still on some waiting time. I think the camel should be done fairly fast, actually. Uh, but yeah, just testing out. It was something I wanted to test out two days ago, but I haven't actually checked it how far we can get. So we do need to set up. Well, 
something else because we're not gonna be able to we are gonna be able to feed everybody like archers we're gonna place on the wall but we're not gonna be able to feed people that stand outside of our wall so our wall is actually a good it's, it's at a good it's at a good range so let's see how the camel is doing yeah, camel is one one third ready. I've put uh, some feral flesh in here and some stone. Uh, I do believe that the different types of eggs, um, the rock nose, yeah, stone for the rock nose, I guess. Uh, sand reaper and the shoebill. Shoebills are the birds in the jungle, uh, and then the spider. I do believe they're all meat eaters. So yeah, that should be able to raise them up all in this uh, pen. With this food, I kind of hope so. So yeah, still a little more waiting. Just some testing on my own, as I usually do a lot. And yeah, we do need to build up this temple. Uh, so we can have our our lighting system uh, properly. I wish we had these lights for the discotheque. I really wish we had lights like these for the discotheque. That would be really nice. But yeah, it's a... Uh, it's hi guys, this is the place to be. Come come and join the tower. <laughs> it's kind of dark, you probably don't even see me while I'm rambling. But yeah, I'll bring you guys back once the camel is done. Okay, there we go. We have the dung. What is dung? Why is it making dung? I don't want to make it... I don't want to make dung. Let's, take every, let's, let's make one dung. What's dung? Dung isn't that like poop. <laughs> so we have our camel ready. Uh, 167 hours on the timer. Well, we should have it placed before that. It's gonna be pretty big, so let's place it up here. Oh, it's actually not that big. Yeah, it really does look like. Uh, um, gonna place it higher up. Seriously, dude. Can you not? Can you not stand properly? Let's place it over here. Uh, I so wish that this mount was so long in this game already. Looks amazing though. Like even the 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 veins on its neck and such. Ah, oh, two two dead skulls on the side. Really nice, really nice. Now we can't really see up top. Oh, we can jump through its neck. So the body is the glitch, uh, well my glitch part, the back, but yeah, the face is such. <laughs> oh, I gotta, gotta check if this works. Hi guys! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, perfect! <laughs> Hello, uh, welcome, this is Malucha, this is Camel Face. Welcome to Code and Exiles. <laughs> Oh, perfect. So yeah, camel. Not really sure if there's different types of camels. Uh, definitely need to, uh, well, check it out, I guess. Uh, what does he prefer? Specialized, uh, space sp shade spiced plant. Oh, I'm still, still, my, my smile is still uh, on my face. I can't talk. Uh, so shade spiced plant fiber was the trick to actually get it. I put some food in the bins already inside, so yeah, as you can see, he got uh, four plant fiber in his inventory, lasting him seven days. Right, Rock Nozick, seven, a couple seconds, and then one minute for these, so let's see what happens. A pebble nose, so yeah, let's put this pebble nose into here. And then, uh, yeah, he took one stone and he's instantly uh, crafting up, so Rock Nose. Uh, you do, uh, you are able to make a greater rock nose and then a gold and a silver rock nose. So yeah, apparently uh, you're gonna have to put in the recipes for the silver and the gold in here to actually craft those. Because there's uh, four rock, different rock noses. Uh, instead of the three of the usuals for these, we need a couple more seconds. Because uh, yeah, the rock nose was basically... Uh, a little earlier here than the rest was. Let's see which one. Sand Reaper, Shoebill, that's supposed to be the bird. Uh, there are three types of birds, like the green, red, and yellow, I think. I think it's yellow, not real sure. Green and red, definitely. So, a locust spawn. Okay. A Shoebill chick, it's a green one. And then a spiderling. Okay. 
So let's put these three in here, see if they craft up. So Sand Reaper took one Feral Flesh. The Shoe Bling isn't crafting up, so we're gonna need to see what we actually need. And then the Spider isn't crafting up either. So we kind of need to go check out what other Purified Flesh. Yeah, no, that's not gonna do it. So I'm gonna put in some stuff in the inventory, see what happens. Um, spider, spiders. Ah, uh, maybe rotten flesh? Rotten flesh might actually work. I uh, do believe uh, in the fridge, maybe? Maybe in here? No, nothing in here. Uh, rotten flesh, rotten flesh. Where can I find rotten flesh? I can't just make rotten flesh, right? Keep keep some meat in my inventory and then uh, just wait till it delays. And I'm not sure. I think the spider might be rotten. Do we have rotten in our inventory? Yeah, perfect. We have three over here. So let's check out if the rotten uses and then uh, let's take one stack of each from these that we have spare over here. Do we have anything else that's dried meats? No. Uh, let's take some more rotten. Let's take the fishes, the different types. Do we have any shell fishes? Mm, kind of thought we had shell fishes in here as well. So let's see if this works out. Stop. You see? I jump down and every NPC in the place is actually coming towards me. Even people from downstairs, the dancers from upstairs, they're all coming here because I took a little damage uh, when I jumped off. So yeah, you don't want to actually damage yourself in your base, else all the NPCs around, around you. Crap, I did it again. Nobody's coming this time. So all the NPCs basically trigger towards you and... Look at that! We picked the first, uh, the first door, and it was the correct one. So let's uh, let's see. Uh, rotten meat, yeah. Spider, of course. Shoebill. Ah, fat grub. Desert. Ah, desert berries. Handful of insect and highland berries. Didn't we have it active a second ago? So basically, need berries. Okay, we can do that. That's pretty easy. I'll just run out, grab some plants. Maybe. Yeah, I know. Are this, is this a berry bush? Island berries. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> right next to the pin. That's strange. Yeah, my mind is all over the place, so it's possible that it was actually the shoe build that didn't. No, because we had three a second ago. It was a sand reaper that wasn't activating. Right? Alright, so that's uh, the rock nose only, but he will be ready in a second, and then the shoe bill will be ready as well. So let's take out the spider, and let's take out the sand reaper uh, that we've got, and these two we can grab in a second. Let's see what they look like. So, spider, how big are you? Yeah, it's just a regular spider, not that big, so we can basically place it somewhere over here. Let's turn him around, twist him and bop him. There we go. So our first spider that we have in the house. Okay, okay. Spikes on the legs look really nice. It's still really like kind of glitchy. Uh, and then the sand reaper. That's going to be a little bigger. Let's place him up here. Uh, right next to the stairs, of course. There we go, Sand Reaper is also glitching a little to the floor. It should be more upright. Can't really look into its mouth. It looks really nice, really nice textures. So let's see the rock nose and then our little birdie that we uh, finally found out that it just eats berries. So pretty easy. Uh, rock nose ready and the birdie should be ready any second now. So rock noses, they're not that big. Let's put them um, over here next to the stairs. Yeah, why not? So a regular rock nose, uh, we do need to tame up four different ones. Uh, the regular one, the greater one, the gold one, and the silver one. 
So that's gonna be a whole lot of, uh, well, <laughs> a whole lot of taming. It's a 30% chance with the right food, so yeah, one out of three, uh, meaning if we fail a lot, we'll probably need, yeah, we might need the 20 that we actually crafted up. And then the birdie, I just saw a little tick, so I think it's one more. Yeah, I really, I really like the pet system. Um, it's sad that we still can't use a mount yet, but yeah, being able to gather up these, uh, the, it's 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 kind of fun, and and yeah, especially if there's like uh, different types of uh, levels around them, different colors, maybe perhaps as well. Come on, little birdie, be ready. Shoe built chick. And there we go, the shoe bill. And I think it's a regular one as well. Uh, I don't think it has a percentage of being a greater one, unless you use the better foods. I think it has like uh, the, a common food, then it has a preferred food, and then it has the special dish you can actually give it. So let's put this shoe bill over here. Yeah, the parrot, really annoying in the jungle, but yeah, it doesn't really have. That much health, so yeah, insects, uh, fed grub, our uh, desert berries, and then the shade spiced fed grub for the greater tiers. And then let's look at the rock nose. So rock nose, iron ore, the crystal or stone. Um, kind of weird that gold is not in there and silver. And then for the spider, uh, the demon blood is actually the right one for this. And then purified meat, human flesh, abyssal flesh. And then fed grub and insects kind of makes sense that the spider eats other insects. And then we have our sand reaper. Sand reaper needs the human flesh shade spiced. And then actually any type of flesh that you can get your hands on. And the camel is... We, we already checked it out, right? So it's the plant fiber uh, shade spice. So yeah, those are all the animals from the pets, uh, the pet vendors actually, and I guess tomorrow we can check out uh, the entire list of all the uh, smaller animals, all the babies you can find in the nature. We already found two to test everything a little bit out, uh, but tomorrow we can actually uh, go look for all the specifics, the alligator, the crocodile, and, and so on and so on. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.